All right, let's talk software. So I went on the Red Dragon site and you can see that you can just pick whichever keyboard you have and whichever mouse. And whenever you do that, you can download the corresponding software for that. Now, it would have been better if I could just download one software and then, you know, have both products um, tied to that one software. But for each product, you have a separate piece of software that you have to download. Now, you can see that I have both of them up here right now. And I'm just gonna go through some of the settings. Now, another kind of weird thing I noticed is the mouse software is really big, easy to see, and the keyboard one has, you know, much smaller. But uh, let's just go into this a little bit. So you can see the keyboard right now. Um, I've cut the lights and you can see that I can change um, the lighting effects. So right now it's on blossoming. I can go ahead and apply that and you can see that it's made that change right now. But let me go back into something. Let's go back. Let's do this maybe. So you can see it's kind of like a cascading thing and then you can change the speed so that it's much, uh, much faster if you like. Now, if you take off lighting options, let's do that. You can see it takes you just to the default configuration on here. Now, when you mouse over, Whichever of these buttons has this type of outline that you're seeing on the screen, these can be programmed, okay? So you can set a key assignment, you can set macro, or you can set it to have, you know, some kind of media ability, okay? But the, all the keys at the top here, those cannot be programmed. The scroll wheel can't be programmed. Um, none of these media keys here. So just whatever you see that's lit up in white. Now, additionally, you do have different profiles that you could go through. So I guess you could set one profile, say for like productivity, one for, you know, one specific type of game, another one for a different type of game. And of course, when you turn on the light option, you know, then you have a bunch of uh, options that you could play around here. So that's the keyboard. Let's take a look at the mouse software. So for the mouse software, you can see that we have this main area here. Uh, and on this main screen, you can cycle through any of these buttons and adjust it. So you can see right now, uh, number nine, if you switch number nine or if you click it, which is this bottom button here, you can see it cycles through preset polling rates, okay? So number eight and uh, seven, so these buttons are to change DPI. And you can see as I do that in the top left corner, you can see the DPI settings there, okay? Six is the fire key, and you can see it's a preset polling rate, but if you didn't want to use that as a fire key, you have all of these other options here or you can set DPI or some kind of multimedia. So basic, you know, pretty simple, basic um, key configuration, exactly what you'd expect. Of course, you can uh, import or export profiles. So say you want certain bindings for your mouse for one type of game, you can do that and then just import it whenever you're gonna be playing that type of game. Now, if we go into advanced, you can see these are the different DPIs. So, you know, 1000, 2000, 4000, which is what I'm at right now and it's green. Now, if you take a look at the mouse wheel here, you can see that it's green because I'm currently set to 4,000. So you can set these um, colors to whatever you like, and then, you know, just at a glance, once you cycle through, you can know, okay, what DPI setting you're at. You don't need to go into the software, so that can be really handy if you like that. Now, you can also go into respiration, and you can see, instead of it being steady, let me apply that. So you can see on the mouse here, instead of it being a steady green, it's just gonna breathe in and out. Now, I think I'm just gonna leave it on steady, and of course you could just set it to off if you kind of just live in one type of DPI range. And then you have some other options at the bottom here. Now, you can also set macros if you want, and if you go into lighting, you can see again, you have steady, respiration, or streaming, and I believe mine is set to just steady, and I have it on the white color. And of course you can adjust brightness so you can see I can just apply that, that takes it down. Now say I wanted to go like this, say pink, and I can just increase the brightness just to make that more apparent. And you can see that we have this type of pinkish purple type of look. And of course you can always just pick a custom color if you like.